So for today's video, I'm going to be doing a demo and review on Lush's Ladybird Bubble Bar that they came out with in 2016, obviously this year, uh, in their Mother's Day collection. I'm really excited about it because I have a lot of thoughts and opinions on this bubble bar. Something I want to mention before I get on with the video is that the lighting might be a little bit weird because I am filming at night, and also since I'm filming at night, that means that I've had a long day and I probably look really disgusting, so please don't mind that. I just and in very deep need of a bath, so that's why I'm taking one. <laughs> also, I'm planning on doing demos and reviews on all the Lush Mother's Day products that I have on me, so if you want to see that, make sure to give this video a big thumbs up, and if you're not already subscribed, you should subscribe to make sure you don't miss any of those videos. That would just make me a very happy hippo. Anyway, I don't want this video to be too, too long, so let's just get started. All right, guys, here's an up-close shot of the Ladybird Bubble Bar. I love the appearance of this. I think it's so adorable, and I just think it's super well made. I also love that it's a big chunk of Bubble Bar. You definitely don't need to use the whole thing in a bath, especially from Lush Experience. Lush Bubble Bars are really, really bubbly. You never need to use the whole thing, at least in my opinion. So in today's video, I'm going to be demonstrating a half of this Bubble Bar, but you could definitely use even a fourth of it if you're pairing it with something else like one of their bath bombs or bath melts. Although this bubble bar is cute, it has a very interesting scent. It's definitely not what I was expecting when I bought this offline. Uh, it's something that I'm not really sure about right now and I will definitely give you my final verdict at the end of the video if I like it or if I don't. But it's a very particular scent and I really can't tell if I like it or not. The main scent in this bubble bar is peppermint and geranium, so it has a very minty and floral scent. And in my opinion, it has kind of like a citrusy undertone that I can't really figure out. So basically, it's a meld of a bunch of different scents. I know it will be a lot different once it gets in the water, so that's why I'm not telling you if I really like the smell or if I really recommend it, but I think it's going to make the bath water a really beautiful color, and I do like that about it because that means you don't always have to use a bath bomb with it. I love bubble bars where you can just use the bubble bar because I feel like it's a lot less wasteful. Something I do recommend is not buying this if you haven't smelled it before. This thing is just so cute. I can't get over it. As for the appearance, I would recommend it for a gift, but as for the scent I wouldn't just because it's such a personal scent that I feel like you have to know if the person liked it before buying it for them. All right, I can't wait any longer. Let's hit the bathtub. <laughs> Guys, so my bathtub is all done filling up and I'm so happy to say that my bathroom smells amazing It's a lot less strong in the bath the way this smells in the bath is very floral and very fruity, but it has a cooling undertone. I really love the scent of this. It's not too strong at all. It could be easily paired with a bath bomb or a bath melt or something like that. Um, it's a really, really nice scent and it's actually very versatile. It's definitely something new for Lush. It's not like I feel like I'm using something that they've already came out with, which I love, but it's also not something super crazy. I will say again though, don't get this for someone who hasn't already smelled it. It's a very particular scent, even though it is died down a lot once you put it in the bath. Um, it is really a lot better once you put it in the bath in my opinion, but I would still recommend not getting it for someone if they haven't already smelled it and liked it. I really like this edition of the Mother's Day collection. I think it's a really good thing for 2016 and it's just really nice for spring and summer. My camera is making the water look a little bit more red than it is. It's basically just like a strawberry pink even though strawberries are red. I hope you guys know what I mean. It's like a strawberry milkshake. All right, that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it, even though I was a little bit delusional. I apologize for that. I should be in bed. I am very tired, but I'm going to take a bath instead because it smells amazing.